Alright, how's it? Matrix. Today we're going to go through our research project, which you all have a hard copy of, but today I'm going to go through a soft copy um, version with you. And the reason that I haven't shown it yet um, is because I want to talk to you and uh, about what a hypothesis is, because that's the starting point of your whole project. So what a hypothesis is, is a statement that you make before you actually have a complete understanding of some kind of problem or some kind of topic. So it's a statement that you come up with based on very limited evidence and you then start the process of research to find out um, is my hypothesis, can I accept that hypothesis or can I reject that hypothesis? So we are at the point now in our research project of actually coming up with a hypothesis which is a statement um, ex which, as we're going to see, is quite a, a complex statement that we're going to make. That's what it is. At the end of it, it doesn't matter if you accept or reject that hypothesis as long as the research that you followed um, was sound, the research path and the conclusions that you followed were sound. Sound means very logical and uh, you, you made um, good, you explained everything well, and you were able to um, actually make some good conclusions out of, uh, out of your data. So that's where we are right now. So let's get straight into it. You will see here, I've, um, I'm just going to go through briefly the steps. I think there's about nine of them, nine steps that you have to follow. We'll go through them quickly, and then we'll see that there are some other um, parts later on that, uh, th that we'll go through. All right, so this shows you what step you will be working on and how many marks it is for you will see that the hypothesis is the first thing you start with and this must be um, a statement including what you are looking at, where it is occurring and what is the impact of the geographical issue you are exploring for 10 marks. Step 2 is the geographical area, so where is this problem located, where are you looking at and that would be for 10 marks, this must be an A4 size. The background to the hypothesis is when you will put some extra information in there uh, you will give a bit of history of the area and you will um, give a bit of the scope of your geographical problem. Step 4 is collecting data, which is where you actually do some work and you go and ask people things, you go and interview people, you look in the newspaper, you look online. Step 5 is when you analyze and synthesize your data. This is when you put tables together, graphs together, and you um, evaluate the data that you've gathered. Step 6 is very important. This is when you would get you would um, provide recommendations how to fix your project, your how to fix the problem. And then 7 is where you would either you would state I accept my hypothesis or I reject my hypothesis for these reasons in a paragraph of eight lines. Then you need to put together a bibliography which shows all of your resources all the resources, all the books, the internet sites, the people that you interviewed, you include those. Even pictures that you've got if you use them from another source you must you must credit that source in the bibliography. Step 9 is putting together a good cover page um, which has all the details on it but it also has your hypothesis in there and then the final stages for your presentation. How did you present that? Was it neat? Was it um, acceptable? Um, whether it was typed or printed I don't really mind but as long as it was of high quality and then you get that's, that's, your, that's the end of the project. So that's the beginning um, the next video I will go through one or two of the other um, sections of this research brief.